It's kind of funny though when you watch a tyrant throw a fit. This is what it looks like when you think you're bigger than the law. Funny thing is the current FBI director was appointed by Donald Trump. You let us get this house, boy. They're talking about defunding the feds. Listen, pot, meat, kettle. Ranch with ant, damn it. So the alphabet boys decided that they was going to kick in Trump's door. Yeah, they pulled up on that ass. It's sick. Come here. The federal agents executed a search warrant on Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence in Florida in search of 15 boxes that contained classified documents. Now, these 15 boxes, they were taken when Trump left the White House in January of 2021. Yeah, he got on some petty shit. He said, if I'm going, I'm taking this shit with me. This is coming. Listen, inside these boxes are materials that are subjected to the Presidential Records Act. And removal of such classified documents carries jail time, depending on your complexion now. In 2015, former National Security Advisor of President Clinton pled guilty to misdemeanor charges for removing classified material. And another former senior State Department official, Donald Keeser, oh yeah, he went to prison after he confessed to keeping more than 3,000 sensitive documents in his basement. So apparently motherfuckers be stealing shit out the White House. This ain't nothing new. Now, if you remember back in 2016 when Trump was running for presidency, he criticized Hillary Clinton for having a private email server in which she used to share government messages. Now, who she was emailing, I don't know. Does it really matter if it's a private email server and you're sending out sensitive information? I don't know, but pot, meat, kettle. According to former White House advisors, Trump was known for declassifying and ripping up official documents. He did that so much to the point that he was also known for clogging up the toilets with said documents that he ripped up. Trump's reasoning for doing that and declassifying documents was that he believed the American people deserve to know the truth. Now, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I believe to some degree, like, yeah, the people, the American people do need to know what's going on, but there's a lot of crazies out here. So you do gotta kinda protect a lot of these documents because Jesus, we see how some of these people give it up out here in these streets and it ain't good at all. Look, in 2019, Trump declassified and tweeted a picture of an Iranian missile launch site. Yeah, he was wilding. I don't know what he thought was gonna get done with that. I, I mean, we could sit here and theorize all day long, but you and I both know what's going on. So look, it was no surprise to me when Trump got banned from the top three social media websites out there. On January 8th, 2021, Trump was permanently banned from Twitter after inciting what we now know as the insurrection on January 6th, the Capitol. Yeah, that part. Earlier in the spring, federal prosecutors did issue a subpoena for said documents at the Mar-a-Lago home. Now, a small group of federal agents went there at the time and nothing happened. Apparently, one of the agents was involved in some counterintelligence shit, so that whole case kind of fell by the wayside. Like, it kind of ruined for everybody. But the feds, they ain't done. They wasn't done. Nope, 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 nope. This raid actually got a lot of Trump supporters in the Republican Party upset. Like, they're really pissed off. They're talking about defunding the feds. Like, this shit is hilarious. They're so pissed off that California Representative Kevin McCarthy, he intends to investigate Attorney General Merrick Garland if the Republicans get the House in November. So he already making plans. He like, look, come November, let us get this house boy. Boy. Trump is claiming that this raid is an attempt to sandbag him in running for president in 2024. The shit was so funny, he got upset that the feds actually broke into his safe. I'm like, don't you know what a raid's about? But then again, Trump ain't probably had to deal with the cops since ever in life. Like, yeah, Trump really thinks he's bigger than the law. Like, none of this is supposed to happen to him. It's kind of funny though when you watch a tyrant throw a fit. I ain't gonna lie, I'm enjoying every minute of this pettiness. In some lights though, I really did appreciate the brashness that came with having Trump as a president. But that motherfucker was dangerous. It's like going out with your friend that's the hothead and he don't care about going to jail or dying. Yeah, we might be having fun, but I'm trying to make it home by the end of the night, homie. Sorry. All in all, we about to see what this justice system is about. Actually, I don't have any faith in that they'll find him guilty. And if they do find him guilty, I don't think they are gonna prosecute him. Something tells me that Trump has way more power and influence in this country than any of us like to believe. I think once the feds get them papers back, they just gonna let this man go about his business. They obviously are looking for something. I stumbled onto conspiracy Twitter and a lot of them tend to think that Trump left with the nuclear code. You can't make this shit up. I'm sure they changed them codes like I changed my draws daily.
Rinse with Aunt Dammit. Rinse with Aunt Dammit.